Welcome to The Mischief, I'm Valen, and this is Seablock Rustic Waters. Today I'm going to be making myself some underwear, and I'm going to be showing you how I put it on. Uh, yeah, at, at, as awkward as that may sound, it's actually fairly true. Also, we're going to be messing around with this gadget here, which is really, really cool. Well, I'm back. Sometimes things glitch out a little bit and go a little wonky. I, I don't know what happened, but it happened. So it's done. <laughs> I got the, I was able to claim the reward. We can move on to this stuff. But strangely, it jumps down to this instead. So I don't know why it jumps over to this one, but I should be able to easily make these again. I just need to take these off. And I can continue on with that. Use for this here. There's those. I just want to make sure that the quests register before I proceed. Yes, they will. Okay, so then I can just proceed with uh, use for this. And then use for this. Uh, looks like I'm going to need more turds that I just put away. One, two. That should be good enough for that one now. This is a... a big upgrade I'm going to get here, use for this. That's going to be in the engineer's workshop, and that's more aluminum plates, a large tank, fluid extractor, reinforced O2 tank. All right, I'll get those. I'll be right back. So there are many ways of making signalum plates, which are required for making a large tank, which is part of the last uh, tank, breathing tank that I will need. But I'm taking kind of a, a more basic method, <laughs> somewhat cheaty, if you will. Uh, from the ores that I've mined up uh, below, let's actually grab this one here for the moment. Uh, I should be able to take this and smash up seven silver ore. Oop, yep, there we go. Then I can take that, plus, actually I don't even need seven silver grit, but oh well, I need four. Because I've got three signal and plates already that I got from uh, just finding them in little loot chests and stuff. We'll need four redstone. And then I will need this, the chemist's workshop. Put this up here, up here, and where are they? Silver grit? No, not the silver grit. Doesn't matter. There we go. Oh, and it gets me two each. Oh, so I've got more than I need. But still, I can give these to a Senor Rato. <laughs> At least I believe I can. I should be able to smelt it up into an ingot. And then if I'm... Correct. Yep, I could therefore turn it into a plate right away. Uh, so I do need to sm just smelt it into an ingot. Induction smelter. Is the rat the only way of making it into an ingot normally? Well, without an arc furnace. Wow, that's actually quite impressive that I would need an induction smelter to smelt that. All right, chef rat. I need you to cook me up some signalum. <laughs> Sniffles. Here, take this. It's dangerous to go alone. I'm going to empty out my inventory of the other junk, and I'll be right back. All right, Sniffles, I'm taking the remaining signal and plates. You can finish cooking the rest up. I figured I'd just let the rat take care of the the ones that I had. I don't need to do that, but it should be... Oh, it's one slot down. There we go. <laughs> Got it. And then now I should be able to take this, put it here, and I get a high-capacity O2 tank. Nice. All right, let's put these on. One at a time here, very slowly, just in case. I don't want to glitch out and start crashing things. High capacity O2 tank. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Where's my book? Oh, I left my book in the other room because I switched it out with the hammer. Which, there we go. Now, if I open this up, I should be able to get all the rewards for this. Oh, octatic capacitors. Nice. Those are a pain to make. Though this mask references a different... Uh, in O2 efficiency, the function is not active in these waters. The mask will provide the utmost in protection at any depth. Nice. Uh, and then the trousers, enabling you to break blocks underwater at the most efficient speed possible without enchants. Potions of night vision. High capacity O2 tank boasts an additional 8 minutes of breathing time underwater before requiring a refill. Bottles of air are also increasingly potent when used with higher capacity tanks. Each bottle refilling a couple minutes worth of of breath really uh, i realize it says breathe but hmm bottles of air i didn't realize you could get bottles of air bottle air is there just air 
Well, there's a whole bunch of things that use that, but hmm, that's just the rebreather. Interesting. All right. Wait, what is this? Airlock? Air bubble from Magneticraft. Huh. Curious now if there is actually a way of just extending your your breathing. Um, either way, I'm I am roasting right now. <laughs> Let's take those off. And I think I need to organize a bunch of my stuff because uh, I've got a few more liquids here. Oh wow, this is the cold stuff. We want potion of swim speed. Excuse me, excuse me. Let's just put these ones over here because I see warm stuff. There we go, and the potions of night vision can go up. Why do I have a storage crate up here? I don't know. Is there anything in it? Soul vial with chilly willy. This must have been what somebody ended up leaving at my base. <laughs> and I don't have an axe with me. Ugh, kind of hurts a bit because I, I broke and lost my, my last one. But excuse, excuse me, excuse me. Wait, you waddle? It be waddle, chilly willy? <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know. Anyway, I now have a really nice set. We can put these on. I can take my scanner here. I can also, where is it? Let's put this. That's not the set I wanted to put in. There we go. Put that in there. Put away my ash and fabric as well. I don't have any, so I'm just going to get rid of these. There we go. And I've got an enchanted book. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Where do I have my um, my anvil? I want to say it should be an engineering, but I guess not. Hmm. Oh, no, wait. There it is. My anvil's right here. So I could put this on... Let's put on the leggings. No, wait. Maybe I can enchant the leggings. And that'll be even better. Let me grab some lapis. And I've got my book. And I can level myself up real quick just to see if there's any good enchants I can get on this armor. There we go. I've got 28 and 3 quarter levels. Going up to enchanting. All right. Put the leggings in and this. Protection 3, protection 3, protection 2. Ooh. Hmm. Uh, I'm tempted to just go with this. Protection 3. All right. Well, you know what? That's fine. I'm all right with that. Uh, let's go down here to the floor below. Then I can add in the depth strider. No. Oh, is that only for... It's only for boots. I'm such a goof. All right. Well, let's see if I can enchant the goots. The, the goots? The boots. Flippers, if you will. Put them in here with this. Multi-jump soulbound to protection one. Uh, I'm more tempted to go with protection, so I don't really need to multi-jump. Oh, I got soulbound on it. And feather falling. Wow, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> All right. Back down here, and we'll add in depth strider. On those, there we go. And now I've got some magic pants and shoes. I might as well check out to see if I can get any uh, halfway decent enchants on the other ones as well. Fire protection, projectile protection, aqua affinity. Unbreaking 2, soulbound 3. Unbreaking 2. Uh, the soulbound 3 sounds crappy. Let's try. Let's just try this. Boo, that's all it gave me. And aqua affinity. Sure, why not? Needed for dive. Um... And unstable one. Great. <laughs> At least it's only unstable one. If it was unstable, like two or more, it would actually end up doing a lot more damage uh, to the environment if I have gunpowder in my inventory, which I undoubtedly will at some point. But there we go. That's pretty spiffy. And now I can take this and get all my levels back into the Tome of Knowledge. There we go. And grab my scanner. And now when I go out into the water... I move around pretty darn fast, I gotta say. Not quite as fast as my uh, my submarine, but that's pretty nice. That's very nice. All right, let's go down here and see if we can find some other stuff to harvest. I'm gonna take these off because I don't wanna I don't wanna cook. Uh, what level am I on at this point? I'm at Y level ten where I'm at. But as I was finding, I need to go down lower, or else I end up digging up into the um, yeah, the water above. So let's go down here, and we'll do a scan in this area. Ready? And let's see if we can find 
Some diamonds. Oh. I have no idea what diamonds look like here. But that looks pretty teal to me. That could be diamonds. So I'm going to mine up. <gasps> it is. Ha ha. All right. So what I can do with this module now is take out the one that I wanted. Right click this on there. And now it says diamond ore. Ha ha. And if I equip this. Here, I only get diamonds when I, I look for stuff. And in fact, I wonder, can I... Uh, let's just mine those. And don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> can I, like, swim back up? Nothing really of any consequence up here. So let's go back down. Uh, down. And then I can just plug this up. There we go. So now if I scan... There's all the diamond in a very large radius. That's really amazing. <laughs> Pretty darn cool. All right. Well, I now have a way of uh, replenishing my diamond ore, or my diamond stock, in a much better way because uh, previously, um, I mean, yeah, that's that's not really getting. I don't think there was any way that we could automatically get it. That was easy. Um, Alloy smelter, really? Coal and TNT? <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. Um, loot bags, grinder, no, no. Alloy smelter, no, that's just using the ores. Yeah, there wasn't any way that you could automatically mine it or anything like that. So I'm going to head back into the base, and then we'll see what next we can work on. All right, you know what? Now that we're back up here, I was thinking we've got a good portion of this chapter done. So... <laughs> We might as well continue on. Let's let's do this here. Thermal conductivity. Certain metals conduct heat better than others. Although you can install cooling gel in your armor, environments such as the nether will still quickly heat you to a dangerous level. Yes, as I've seen. However, Electrum armor offers superb cooling capabilities. If you plan to a, if you plan to trip to the nether, a set of Electrum armor with cooling gel inserts is sure to keep you regulated longer. Oh, so you need to make a helmet and a chest plate. Shouldn't be a problem. I've got a bunch of that already. Let's just take a stack and make it because I think it's just regular recipe yes finally don't need any of the other crafting tables put those away thermal conductivity complete and I get two goo pack cools don't forget to activate goo packs on your hotbar and keep a stash of super cold drinks on hand if you go to the nether that is good advice and I get some more uh, rewards here I put them away let's take this and finish making the rest of the armor wow should have done this a long time ago Along with a bunch of them. I'm, I'm starting to get through some of these uh, older quests before I, I go too far forward. <laughs> so I now have this set here. I need another uh, armor stand, which will be a slab and a bunch of sticks, right? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, a bunch of sticks. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that should be all for that. There we go. And I can put that here. Uh, actually, I'm going to keep it in this, uh, like, this is kind of like a nicer area in a way. Uh, let's put this over here for now. I think this will work, and then I can put these on. Sneak click. I've got that. I need to get a new one right away. There's no excuse, because high voltage is a killer. You need to watch out. It is very, very lethal. <laughs> All right. And then I can put the rest of my cooling stuff in here. There we go, which I probably should have done instead of putting it over there, but I have it in both places. I can always look it up in the future. So let's continue on with uh, making underwear. Yes, we're making underwear. The ocean is a frigid environment. If you will be diving into the deep, you will want to attach warmth liners to your diving gear. Each piece of diving gear can have a corresponding piece of underwear sewn in, which will assist in keeping your body temperature from falling too low. So we need warming liner material, 24. All right, that is... Some kind of wool and heating goo? Really? What the heck is heating goo? Magma blocks and slime balls. Or slime shards and slime balls. Okay. Because I think magma shards are, are made from blocks of charcoal. Okay. I can do that. So let's just grab 
a few stacks of those and I pretty sure I can do this now that should make me I don't remember how many that makes in fact uh, do I have my flint and steel yeah I still have that didn't quite lose that one so let's do this over here I guess I don't know there's anywhere I do fire is going to be dangerous <laughs> let's try this put that in there yeah it works okay throw those in too there we are and then I can pick those up 28 nice that should be more than enough and I just need uh, slime wait let's check out the mob drops because I think I might have a bunch if not I know how to get some uh, let's see mob drops oh, look at that I've got 22 which I don't think will be enough it makes two each so that might be exactly what I need which lends me to believe that what I need to do right now is take out the lasso with the witch in it and I need to put that back in here and I've got one with the slime and that's the one that's going to go in now so that I can get more slimy boys going in here in fact I could probably put the witch back in the other one but oh well that that's fine uh <laughs> let's see if I can actually craft these up I don't remember I don't think it was in a crafting grid no it was in the alchemist workshop there's no liquids involved but I can do this so let's do that one and then I put this here these there heating goo and I get 22 which is I think that's perfect yeah because then I just need some wool and which one is it it is in the tailor's workshop so I've got wool already in the, in the armor system here oh and that gives me two each okay so I've got a lot I've got a lot let's put away this extra wool underwear under there done <laughs> get some money go back continue on we're gonna make some under garments here combination of hot cold drinks underwear liners and hot cold resistance potions will ensure you never die of hypothermia or hyperthermia so i'm wonder this is see these are warm liners this here the other two warm liners underwear liners can be attached to all of your armor as well place the armor or diving gear into the crafting grid with the corresponding liner underwear what is the recipe for this? it's just crafting this stuff in here that should be pretty basic stuff let's do the helmet uh, we've got the chest plate we've got the trousers and we've got socks <laughs> which I think I've got some charcoal in here there we go that should complete both of those quests real easy and that just adds warming though and I'm I'm a bit concerned about that because these are warm liners and I just made some cooling armor so this would be great for mm, I guess out in the ocean which is cool I could put this into this set here that would make sense but before I do hold on let's let's look at the book because it might actually tell me that it's a good idea to do something else Going someplace warm, a gear swapper can help you organize and swap your gear sets at the push of a button. Sneak left click on one of the four slots to remember your current hotbar and armor. Right click on one of the four slots to restore the hotbar and armor as it was remembered then. All items currently in your hotbar or armor that are in the way for the remembered items will be stored in your inventory. Neat. Okay. When restoring a selection of the block, we'll first look in the player inventory, then in the local inventory, a 4x4 internal buffer, and finally in any possible adjacent inventories until it finds the items it needs. Right-click the block on the settings label or on the sides of the block, then it will show a UI. And then there's a reward of a fire extinguisher. <laughs> All right, gear swapper. Let's... Oh, wow. Okay, that's, that's a lot of materials, but it's not a difficult recipe whatsoever. So I will make that, and I will be back shortly and there we go one gear swapper which I have I have no idea how this actually works I just read all that stuff but doesn't really make a lot of clear sense sneak left click store current setup in slot right click restore current setup from slot so let's do this and then so sneak left click store current setup in slot uh, so if I'm going to the nether, I probably want some of these things here. 
Yeah, let's just take everything off the hotbar. <laughs> I don't know if that's actually a good idea. Let's put all this back on the hotbar. <laughs> I'll need food. I will need uh, the flux magnet, tome of knowledge, and a moving wand. Sure, those will... No, actually, I will want my wallet. So if I sneak left click, store current setup and slot. Remembered current hotbar and armor. That's that's not the item I wanted it to remember. <laughs> it does have some XP in it. Um, can I do that? Let's do this uh, and actually hold. It'd be nice if I could actually hold the uh, the copper armor, but I guess I'll do that instead. And then we can move over here and drop that off. And then we can do the watery armor, I guess. See, it's it's weird that right click restore current setup from slot. So it's if I do this one, let's try this one. Remembered current hotbar and armor. Okay. Now I'm putting these things back. This is the weird thing. Oh, and I here we go. Let me put this in my offhand. So is it what's it gonna do? Right click restore current setup from slot. Okay, so unless the armor, but the armor isn't stored there, does it need to have a chest attached? Let's actually look at the book, see what it says. Um, okay, sneak left click on one of the four slots to remember your current hotbar and armor. Right click on one of the four slots to restore the hotbar and armor as it was remembered then. All items currently in your hotbar or armor that are in the way for the remembered items will be stored in your inventory. When restoring a selection, the block will first look in the player inventory, then in the local inventory, a 4x4 internal buffer, and finally in any possible adjacent inventories until it finds the items it needs. Ah, so if we put an adjacent inventory over here with the armor set in it and some, some of these, it would be it would work quite well to identify those items. Okay. I kind of like using just using the, uh, the armor stands, but that's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. All right. I'm going to leave it for now, though, uh, and we're going to continue on with switching this stuff out <laughs> and making it warmified. Uh, at least that's what I think. I think I can do this in my own crafting inventory. Yes, I can. There we go. And it is now very warm. <laughs> I don't know uh, how warm it's going to be, but I guess it's a thing that is going to happen. Where did my, my trousers go? There they are there and then this and this there we go and that should enhance the speed and all sorts of stuff at the following and i don't see anything on there that says that it's warmer it's kind of weird i don't see that on there a oh, warm lining plus one it's it's in bright red i don't know why i'm <laughs> i'm not able to read that i wonder if i can uh, add multiple levels like uh, layers or something like that. Anyway, continue on with the questing. We get a fire extinguisher, which would be that would have been much better for the uh, the cooling armor. <laughs> Maybe I switch that one out with this. Uh, let's do this one. Switch these. There we go. <laughs> and then I'll just have uh, one of these in the corner here, just in case I need it. Okay, next. Next, next, next. Under where? Under there. You will at some point need to visit the nether or other dimension that are much less cold than the deep ocean. Oh. Using your gear swapper, you can select a set of armor that has cooling un cooling gel underwear liners installed. Hmm. Interesting. Cooling liner material. So how do we make that? That's made with some kind of wool and cooling goo, which is made with ice and slime. Which... I can get ice and packed ice because I've got massive amounts of it here. Let's see how good the uh, the gel, the slimy boy mob farm has been working. You're a disappointment. You're a big disappointment. I was afraid of this. I think I put it in here a while ago and it wasn't actually working. I don't think the slimy boy works for some reason. So there's got to be another way that I can obtain slime. Oh, creep find seed clusters. Why didn't you say so? I think I can find those around outside. Let's just grab this. 
And just in case, I will go over here and let's see if I can go down faster in the bubbles than not. Creepvine seed cluster. That should be this right here, if I'm not mistaken. And then I can use these to get slime balls, just, just like that. That's actually pretty amazing. Come here. Uh, let's turn this on. That way I should automatically get the stuff that I need. I don't need to break these any lower than the seed pods because for all I know that's just going to end up making it uh, a little more difficult. Uh, let's grab a bunch of these. I just want a whole bunch of slime. Or I, I'm hoping that they'll regrow, you know. But I don't know. So that should be good. Now to just head back. Go over here to the uh, the elevator. Wow. It's a little bit iffy to... Whoo, there we go. <laughs> Made it through quick. Got a bunch of creepvine samples and 24 creepvine cluster... Sample? Silicone-based plant material. Hmm. It must have been d disabled, whatever you can do with it at this point. But this stuff here. Now we're talking... Oh, I've got all the slime. I am set for slime. I'm going to take that slimy boy out of the uh, lasso because that's just going to use up the durability on that. There we go. We'll put this back in here for now. Maybe it'll work in a future version. Um, and in the meantime, uh, let's see. I could use a few more uh, of these suckers in, in my inventory. I need uh, emeralds, and I could use more of the uh, totems of undying, just because, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm prone to death. At least I've, just, I've determined that at this point. It's just what is going to happen. Put this cold resistance up there as well. Okay, eat some more brownies, meringue brownies. I, they should be called magic brownies, but that's just me. All right, I'm gonna empty out my inventory. We're gonna start making up these this cold goo. That's right. I am splurging my diamonds on a diamond bucket because it can hold ten buckets at once. Watch this. One bucket of water, right? And pop it in here, and it'll make us ten buckets. Of purified water because I need that in my alchemy table. Oh, it's so much faster. Oh, I like this. Okay, so now when I open this up, I've got 30 buckets in there, almost 32. Let's let's just kind of top it off a bit. There we go, and that that speeds things along, things along so much better. Uh, now before I do this though, I see these are both about to break. So let's grab these out, combine them to get a better durability bonus. Where to go? Did it go back into here? Yeah, it did. There we go. If I combine these, I can improve the durability, get a little bit more uh, longer lasting. There we go. On here, put them back in. Packed ice, 37 packed ice. That should be sufficient for what I've got in mind here. Oh, I need... Am I out of beakers? Oh my goodness. All right, I'm going to make one of those and I'll be right back. All right, there we go. Now I have enough to make plenty of cooling goo. Oh my gosh, I made way too much. Okay, well, I have a whole bunch now. <laughs> and this is just going to be for making this liner, which I therefore need a bunch of wool. And I should be able to do this in here, I believe. Uh, yep. No, I need... Why do I have two of those in there? That's kind of annoying. Uh, don't I have any more needles? Dang, I'm running out of tools. Oh my gosh. All right, there we go. But I am going to keep the rest of the cooling goo for the future. I don't want to use it all up quite so quickly. Oh my gosh, can I just straight up make woven cotton? Oh, that is a much better recipe. Okay, well, I'm going to keep a bunch of this stuff in here for future use. Let's see, that should complete it. Yep, I get some super cold drinks, and then I can continue on with these. This is pretty interesting. Uh, every degree matters. Hypothermia, hyperthermia have various negative effects, including ticking your health down to half a heart. Avoid reaching extreme temps at all times. I get some free spaghetti and meatballs. Chest plate cool liner. Okay, so we need to make some of the. Oh, it's just, it's just making the stuff. Is that in a regular? No, nope. has to be in here. All right, fair enough. Just like the other ones, just making a regular set of armor. There we go. Like in vanilla Minecraft. That should get both of these completed. Get that one, this one here. Liners can be snipped out of the armor they are currently installed in, so you don't have to craft them again. 
Yep, and I already have some liner snips. Now I've got another set. <laughs> and these are test your might uh, items here. 64 shifting scales. Ouch, for, for 500 gil. But this is just so you can complete it. But I, I think, does this actually... Does this count as a trophy item? It is, because I did not. I didn't need to do that. There we go. Nice. Claim that reward. We completed a whole other page. Um, which, funny thing, I would think that the uh, the test your might thing should be in there. We're gonna grab one of these, and then we're going to go set this up in the back room. This has been nice. It's been very nice. There we go. Three chapters now complete. Looking pretty good. Diving in. Oh, all of them done on October 1st. I've been busy. All of this in one day. Jeez. So, I've got my super cold drinks. I've got uh, cool liners, which, how good or bad is, actually, I'm like dying of heat. I need to take that off. How good or bad is this setup, by the way? It doesn't actually say anything about cooling on it, but how's the armor? The armor is terrible. Oh, it's terrible. And this stuff probably just gives like a minus one. Whereas the other, or, and the other one gave like a plus one. Hmm. Actually, what I can do to find out, I can do this. Yeah, cool lining minus one. And it apparently is supposed to have an all already existing cooling effect. I suppose I could just go with this. This armor is terrible though. Hmm. I don't know that I really want to do that. I think I'm more likely to want to do this with the other ones. <laughs> there we go. Something like this. like it, or, or better yet, I have in here, I made a steel set of armor, which just looks fabulous. I mean, look at this. This is pretty good. This is <laughs> it's got last stand, protection three to break three on that helmet. That was pretty neat. It looks pretty cool, except my eyes are like behind the slits of the helmet. So it, it's not good for visibility. <laughs> but I don't know. I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do with the uh, cooling liners. I think I'm going to put it in the crate for now. Because that armor is just absolutely crap for protection. Oh, man. And I don't have many levels left. So, in fact, I might put this in here as well. Any more cool drinks? My liner snips? Warming liner material? Oh, and i got to put away some of this other stuff. Ugh. All right. So I think that completed the chapter... For uh, diving in, short of the test your mites, which then you get the, the green check mark if you really want. Shipping and handling still a bit off. But I think what I'm going to do next time, and I, I know I've said this before, but I've actually done a bunch of the stuff that I think I needed to <laughs> to get where I'm at now. I still need to do more things like this here, um, but I'm not in a good position to do that. I think it'll, we'll do that after the, uh, the pack update that we're going to be doing next. Uh, but we shall start working on getting this running, and I think we will also work a little bit on, where is it, the, uh, on here, using the, uh, the, the current viaducts to get up to the surface, uh, and then start doing some plants so that I can then start getting some sushi and whatnot, as well as, uh, where is it, work on some of the, there it is, aquaculture, this stuff here. This is going to be pretty crazy stuff. Oof. Which I think if I can work towards it, I would like to try and get through here so I can open up the last section here of the ship. And yes, I said ship. And I was thinking I could probably keep some animals in there or something. The only accessible way would be through the viaduct because it goes through the wall, which I actually kind of like because then I don't need to break this up and worry about the opening. Uh, in fact, I could even use the uh, the back there as something for all I, I, I all intents and purposes. Maybe I'll have stuff being fed into the drawer controller. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for now. So I hope you guys have been enjoying the series. Uh, we've been going for quite a while now. Let me know uh, if you if you're enjoying it. I, I'm I'm having fun. I'm liking designing this. I have an overall plan for the entire thing. I'm I'm kind of thinking I might turn this thing into a, like a giant submarine of a sort. Um, maybe give it a little bit of extra shape and you know like we've got some engines going on in the back here it's pretty cool but anyway we'll, we'll, we'll see how we do let me know if you guys uh, have been liking this series give me a comment like subscribe tell your friends share it with your family and we'll see y'all next time oh don't forget we also stream most nights on twitch around 10 p.m see you then